there are some elements of French style that aren't really worn by Parisians, such as berets, but the silk scarf is one that's everywhere and something I'm often asked about. How do I wear a silk scarf? And that's the subject of today's video. I'm Alexandra Alenska, and I've worked as a creative director and stylist for luxury brands, including Chanel Celine and Vanessa Bruno, as well as magazines, including Vogue and Harper's Bazaar. And I've been featured in international press, including Forbes, Elle, The Sunday Times, and The Independent. I now help directors and leaders in midlife and beyond to rebalance that work, 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 busy, busy, busy lifestyle you've become accustomed to because you know life's too short to stay in that career-driven comfort zone. I help you to redesign and restyle your life, especially at midlife with life-changing transitions such as the breakup of relationship, divorce, menopause, or turning 40 and beyond. From your home and your wardrobe to your mind and social life, I help you with your stylish next chapter to step into your best life because I know you're ready to rock life again. In this video, I'll show you different ways to wear a silk scarf so that you can inject a little French style into your wardrobe wherever you are. And if you're interested in French style, then subscribe to my channel for more style inspiration to keep you feeling elegant and relevant at midlife and beyond. Silk scarves are a classic for a reason, especially for modern midlife women. No longer the preserve of the queen, though her headscarf style has recently been adopted by Alessandro Michele, the creative director of Gucci. Silk scarves cast a flattering glow on the face with the luminescence of the silk and is a great way to update black outfits as well as a way of dipping your toe into colour or print. They also add a hint of luxury and add a little pizzazz to everyday outfits so that you look and feel effortlessly fresh, chic and comfortable and polished without really having tried. There are loads of different types of scarves in different shapes and sizes. Even the classic square, or carré as the French call it, comes in sizes as small as a pocket handkerchief to those large enough to wear as a sarong or a perero come summer. Every stylish French woman has at least one Hermes scarf in her collection. They're easy gifts and come in an amazing array of colours and prints. And if you receive a beautiful silk scarf that you never wear, especially if it's a collectible limited edition, such as Hermes' beautiful degradé collaboration with Sujimoto, why not frame it? Wear a small scarf with a round neck top, French style, with a t-shirt for example, or a button down shirt. Perfect for more formal and more casual looks. For a 1970s feel, pair it with a fitted t-shirt and flared jeans and wedges or platforms. Or open up the shirt and pair with chains underneath or button up and add a jumper. For a more formal, work-appropriate look, wear with a fitted skirt and a shirt. You can also tie a small carré around a bag handle to customise your bag, or tie it in your hair and let it flutter in the breeze. This medium square is from independent Paris-based designer Barbara Agnes. I'll pop her website in the links below. The quality rivals Hermes and makes a lovely change. She's an incredible colourist and her light-hearted designs have a sense of joie de vivre, as well as hand-rolled hems and a gorgeous pearl detail to finish with. For full-on French style, pair it with a Breton stripe and tie it in a little knot at the side. For a more dramatic look, tie it in your hair. I have to confess, I've been known to wear mine with my hiking gear and even a Gore-Tex coat, giving me a gentle umph and a little style and luxury in practical situations. Do you have a favourite way of wearing a silk scarf? Let me know in the comments below. Wear a big square loosely and informally around the neck with a leather jacket or denim jacket and jeans for that idea of contrast, or with a simple sweater and let the scarf be the focal point. One of my golden guidelines is to embrace contradiction, and here we have just that, a more formal, silky, colourful foulard, the very luxurious foulard, with the more everyday quotidienne fabrics and styles. It's a way of dressing down the scarf so that you still look chic and casual and comfortable and oh so effortless. You can also knot it and wear it as a kind of bolero with a simple black evening dress or trousers and a tighter top. Or if it's really huge, then as an informal summertime cover-up. As for a long and straight scarf, Hermes has a style that the perfume Twilly was named after. It's a simple straight scarf and their entry price level piece. And that kind of straight scarf is an easy first silk scarf. You can just wrap it around your neck, it's so simple. I've added a few knots in this slightly wider one to give it a different dimension. You could wear it as a headband or if you've got longer hair, you could braid it into your hair. So I love the colour of this uh, vibrant purple scarf. I think it's from Balenciaga, but the colour is so Yves Saint Laurent with this, this incredible purple. Um, I love a thin, straight scarf. You can see I've knotted, I've knotted it a bit. It just, it just adds a casual element to it. Um, 
and I love a thin scarf tied at the front because I think it still feels quite quite 1970s, especially if you put that with there uh, with a tuxedo or a blazer. I think that's a great look. Really simple, just adds a pop of colour, doesn't it? Here we've got a lovely cream scarf, a silk one. It's a little bit wider, as you can see, um, and I've put some knots in. The knots just add some weight to it. Now, with a much longer scarf like this, you know, you can wrap it down round. You can wrap it around once. You can wrap it around several times, and I just think it adds that little Parisian twist to your outfit. You could also add a brooch just here or some jewellery, and that's a really contemporary way to wear a brooch. And don't hesitate to wrap it around your neck several times if it's just feeling a little bit too long. I like to just twist it up so that it doesn't get too much like, um, you know, like a bandage after you've had whiplash or something like that, because it's cream, it could have that connotation. There we go. So you can wear it wrapped around as many times as you like. You could tie it to the side as well if you want it to have that sort of Thelma and Louise vibe. I love to puff out a half bow sometimes. Et voila, what do you think? Did you prefer it long or do you prefer it side like this? Of course, you can also pair this with a Chanel jacket just for a finishing touch, right? So this one's like a mini carré and I've just wrapped it up into a kind of sausage. I'll show you on this larger one. You just fold it into a diagonal and you just wrap it around like this so it's a kind of, a kind of tube, right? Da, 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 da. And then all I did was just knotted that onto a hair bubble. So this is the smaller version here. You can see it's just this, exactly the same thing. This one's from Barbara Agnes who always adds this little pearl, which I just think is so cute. You can just tie it up into your hair. Now I've got really short hair and sometimes I wish that I had long hair, but you know, it's always been quite fine and um, the hairdresser would tell me off for using this bobble. You could also attach the scarf to a clip or a claw uh, to be more gentle on your fine hair. Et voila, I think that's a, uh, just makes me feel like I've got long hair and it instantly sort of elevates any outfit. So I have to confess, I love a cardigan. It's quite French to show a little bit of lace bra underneath and not worry about it at all. It's perfectly acceptable. Um, but here I'm just gonna add a pop of color. This would also work with a really plain like gray mall t-shirt or something like that. And just look at that color that radiates up onto your face. It's extremely flattering, especially for like any midlife Midlife skin, midlife skin that could do with a little bit of extra zhuzhing up. So you can see this is from earlier where I just, um, I just kind of looped it up like a Boy Scout. You know, if any of your, your kids are in the Scouts, you'll know, you'll know about this kind of scarf that the Boy Scouts, I think they wear it like this. Gosh, that looks really old fashioned on a, on a girl. What I prefer is to, um, is to put it to the side like this. This is a medium sized square, by the way. And you can see we've got lovely Barbara Agnes's juicy pearl there. And then you can either just tie it here or you can wrap it around double, which I prefer. I think it looks slightly more casual. And then you can just leave it like this, like loose and flowing. You can pop one of them back. Lovely jot of color with my plain gray cardigan. Okay, so this is a really big scarf. It's also absolutely beautiful. I got this as a gift. I think it's upside down. I got this as a gift for my 40th birthday um, from a friend and I went to I went to Mount Fiji in Japan and you can see it's got some lovely Japanese mountains on it, just how gorgeous. And you can see that even though this is a dark color, the, um, the silk has an incredible luster to it. So with this kind of scarf, again, just, just fold it diagonally, corner to corner. Voila. And literally just, you can start off sort of queen style. Um, and again, I love to wear it like this, even on a, on a summer's night over um, a long summer dress. You know, if it gets a bit nippy or if I'm, if I'm, if I'm coming straight from the beach and I've got um, like a little summer dress on over my bikini, I might put this on to make it a little bit more formal or dinner time like. But to make this even cooler, you can just, just really casually start to drape it around your neck, making sure not to reveal too much of the lining. Just there we go. How simple is that? I mean, you really can't get simpler. Super casual, and this looks especially good um, paired with a leather jacket or a denim jacket, something really casual. You can always fix it if you like with a safety pin or with a brooch or even like some kind of fan badge, a smiley badge if you like. Um, in, the, in the winter sometimes, 
I'll just wear it like this even on top of a black polo neck because I get really cold in Europe in the winter and it just adds that sort of polished dimension so there we go it's great isn't it with the leather just just giving a little bit of ooh la la to my leather look Okay, so I've just tied this around my head. It's very like 1960s, 1970s, wore it, wearing it on the beach in Saint-Tropez. I would love to wear it like this with a bikini, you know, going for a walk on the Promenade Anglaise in Cannes or something like this. Um, I do wish that this wasn't cream. It's just the one I've got right now with me. Um, I'd love it if it was like some bright psychedelic colors or some poochy swirls in turquoise or pink or something like that. But I think you get the spirit and it would be great paired with some Capri pants and a bikini top for example. Something else I wanted to add is this has been a video about silk scarves but you know sometimes you can get some of these lightweight wool scarves that will have the same sort of fluidity to them. You can see that this one is quite giant it's an old Kenzo one and I, it's got this eye print which I find quite fun you know I'm all about classics and then having a bit of fun with it and finding your old your own twist and you can see that this is about the size of that giant silk scarf that I had and you can do exactly the same thing with it just very loosely you know drape it around your neck you don't have to be precious at all about it and it just adds a bit of color to your look whatever you're wearing again you can wear this with any of your coats or jackets sometimes it's nice if you've got a lot of belt left over just to, to wrap it around like this it just adds a little bit of polish and sort of editorial feel to uh, to your look and just finishes it off as much as this scarf and don't you just love navy blue and black together so chic et voila okay so for this one we've got the giant carré again and remember that you could also wear wear actually this one's not quite big enough but if you had one that was slightly bigger you could always wear it as like a beach cover-up as well a very luxurious beach cover-up right and um, you just knot it round because the silk just loves to move the drape is just effortless but what I wanted to show you with this dress was um, if you have a, la a large scarf around, around this size, if you fold it in half horizontally, like so, and then what you need to do is you need to safety pin the corners together. So you can see I've got a little safety pin here in the corner just waiting. I'm just going to attach that on that side now obviously when you um when you neaten this up afterwards you'll want to to do this in a way that it's not so visible but just i'm just doing this quickly for the purposes of um of a video just to show you how very easy this is so i'm going to do the same at this side okay so now you see you've got you've got your rectangle and you just safety pinned both of the corners so you just open it up then and you know you wear it like a jacket so you just put it over your shoulders and your arms et voila it's like a beautiful kimono style jacket and the drape at the back is really beautiful and um, you could also if you wanted uh, just you know attach these bits together in the middle and you can just see it's a really new and fresh way of wearing a silk scarf et voila I hope this has given you plenty of scarf inspiration. Let me know how you get on. Et voila. Merci and thank you for watching. À la prochaine. Bye bye.